Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Scientists are saying they are shocked. They're shocked today by a massive solar system discovery just a few hours ago. A scientist have a new report uh, at the University of Arizona. They claim that scientists have found something astonishing deep, deep into space back there in the Kuiper Belt. Matter of fact, scientists have found just found something incredible, they say, lurking deep in our solar system, way past Neptune and out in the Kuiper Belt. And it could totally change how we understand our neighborhood, our solar system. Scientists with the Lunar Planetary Laboratory at the University of Arizona think they may have found, they may have found an Earth or Mars-sized planet lurking out in the Kuiper Belt, which is an icy region with co where comets and asteroids pass the orbit of Neptune. Matter of fact, you, you might remember Planet X, Nibiru, Planet 7X. Well, NASA renamed it back in January of 2016. They called it Planet Number 9. We're not talking about that, folks. We're talking about this is 25 times further than the planet Pluto orbiting the sun. It's, it, no, I'm talking about this is yet another planet. They're calling this planet number 10. And uh, the scientists describe it as a planetary mass object that appears to be altering the orbits of space rocks in the Kuiper Belt. As some of the most distant Kuiper Belt objects are starting to tilt away from the invertible plane of the solar system by an averaging of eight degrees, indicating that something very mysterious, a force, uh, some kind of a planet would, would explain this gravitational pull. Matter of fact, the statement from the university follows below, and an unknown, unseen planetary mass object may be lurking in the outer reaches of our solar system. According to new research on the orbits of minor planets to be published in the Astronomical Journal, this object would be different from and much closer than the so-called planet number nine or planet X. And in, so, so here's what I'm saying is, I think this, uh, wait a minute. What about the solar eclipse? The solar eclipse of the sun. It's going to take place on August the 21st, 2017. I'll be standing at the Continental Divide in Boise, Idaho area watching this total eclipse of the sun. Some say we'll be able during that short period of time when the earth turns as dark as sackcloth of hair, as it says in the book of uh, Joel, we might be able to see planet X just because the sun will be darkened, because of that, that, that. Are you serious? But what about this? What is this? What is this? Well, something's causing the heavens to shake. It's in your Bible. If you read in the book of St. Luke, chapter 25, you could read, and actually it's, it's chapter 21, verse 25. So it's Luke 21, 25. For there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea, the waves roaring, and men's hearts would fail them for fear, for looking after those things that are coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall we see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your head, for your redemption is drawing nigh. Well, what is this? Do we have another major discovery? Or is this just to keep us off balance and not be focused on the coming planet X? Give your life to Jesus Christ. You better focus on that more than anything because he's coming soon. Are you saved?